Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines, where apparently both of our universities are on fire. So that's exciting. We have a dormitory on fire in each university. Luckily, we did already put in the second fire, fire helicopter depot, since only helicopters appear to be able to help out in that in the uh, campus areas. So that's exciting. And we have several projects. Yes, I'm aware. <laughs> we have several projects here that we need to get underway before we can really consider this particular city build complete. And the projects are as follows. We need another university over here, which means we need to fill in this area over here. We need to fill in this area over here and put in a harbor up over here. And we need to finish our airport over here. Yes, I'm aware. <laughs> Thank you very much, game. Excellent. So I believe we need 250,000 to put in our international airport terminal. Yes, indeed. And I have restarted the game, so I'm going to have to re-rotate this. And we found that we could just fit it in here. And we're going to have to see how exactly that ends up working as far as the road access goes. Because it doesn't seem to indicate any level of road access. I'm guessing that it needs to go in that curved portion, but we'll see once we have the actual money. And we've got a fire over here as well, but we should have plenty of fire coverage in the tree district. That shouldn't be an issue, although it is spreading. But here comes our fire trucks. Yeah, they've got that under control, I'm sure. Maybe. Maybe they have it under control. It just spread up over here, too. They did put it out here. We've got more fire trucks on the way in. This one is now out. And now they need to go up over here. Question is, where are our fire trucks? Well, actually, looks like they got it. Fantastic. Now, as far as this goes over here, do we have a fire helicopter? Oh my, this is spreading rapidly. I mean, we do have three fire helicopters working on it. This up over here is not spreading. We also don't seem to have fire helicopters up here. Oh, we do, actually. They were just refilling their, uh, their water. This is slightly problematic, though, to be sure. Do we need another fire helicopter depot? I think maybe we do. We can't connect this up to the road proper, can we? So that the fire department can get in there? So, like, for example, if we were to do something like in the... This is the trade school here. So if we were to do this connection... Yeah, that just gives space already occupied. The only reason they can get in is because of the admin building. So how do we react to this without fire helicopters. I really feel like fire helicopters are the only way to handle that. Because, I mean, we could put up a fire station. But it really seems like it, we can only get in there with fire helicopters, which is wacky. We'll put up another one. That'll delay our uh, international airport, but... This is clearly not being kept up with currently. That said, these fire helicopters should be routed over here pretty soon. We've got this building on fire, but standard fire trucks can take care of that. I'm just wondering why we're suddenly seeing so many fires. Also, we don't really have a fire station over here. We may want to put in a big one over on this side. Like, say, perhaps right here. Like that. That should give good coverage in this area. Yeah, these trees are on fire as well. Why isn't the emergency warning playing? My cat is up a tree. Oh no, that is a warning. Or an emergency, rather. So we are making progress over here. So that's good. The fire helicopters are doing their jobs. I hope. And the cat has decided that this is the exact moment that she needs to be left out of or let out of the room. So uh, I'm going to go do that and we can just 
enjoy the serenity of the firefighters putting out these fires. And I will be right back. Cat has left, and I see that the fires are not fully out yet, but we are making good progress here. We have this whole tree area taken care of. This fire is now out. It looks like we have this under control. The fire helicopters appear to be doing their job. So that's nice. That book club has been on fire for a while, though. So that's a thing. We do have a little bit of residential demand, which I find to be kind of interesting. In that, didn't we already surround all of this with residential? Yes, indeed we did. There's a lot of empty residential. Okay. Including this guy right here. Interestingly. Oh, this fire station needs water. Of course it does. And it'll need power, too. Let's just extend that water pipe out to there, and now it'll need power. That'll do the trick eventually. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible idea, but regardless, that'll do the trick eventually. Fire stations don't need power. As long as they've got water, they should be fine, right? That's how fire stations work. Oh, the book club actually burned down. Okay. It needs to be searched for survivors by a disaster response unit before it can be rebuilt. Okay. So, we can bulldoze it or build a disaster response unit that will search through the rubble and free the lot for rebuilding. City service buildings can be rebuilt by clicking on the building. Yeah, okay, so how do we do this? This is something that I, ha that I haven't really worked with. Uh, that's monuments, unique buildings. I would guess it would be under emergency services. That's a disaster response unit. They send out helicopters and trucks. Okay, so they should be able to... Re wow, that's big for how cheap it is. Do we even have anywhere we can build this? Um, We're going to have to move some things around. So we're going to need to move this guy over here, but we're going to need to move this incineration plant up over this direction because I did not plan this well. We'll put that there. We'll place this here. And then we can get ourselves a disaster response unit right here. Okay. So now they should send out their helicopter over here to search this building for survivors. I mean, it hasn't been searched yet. The helicopter, I believe, is, is on its way. Perhaps. Where are you, helicopter? It did say that there was a helicopter in use. Ah, that's it. That is slow, okay. Like, that's actually moving slower than the traffic on the highway below it. Interesting. I expected it to move at roughly the same speed as the fire helicopter. Oh, now it seems to have sped up a little. So, what are you going to find here? Anything? I'm sure it'll it'll find something. So it actually physically landed and people are going into the rubble now. Interesting. Okay, so now it can be rebuilt. For 2400 that's a lot cheaper. Okay. So that thing will pay for itself. It only cost 15000 
Bring the whole family Interesting. To Interesting. The old grain mill, old so we still need 100,000 more for our airport finalization over here. And the best home style meals in town. We'll make sure you and the power grid is not connected up over here. I suppose we could just be sure that you come down run it over like that. That would do the trick. And not the abandoned grain facility at the edge of town. It's not safe there. for visitors and poses serious. Now our fire station is now operating normally. Fantastic. Now we've got some sound issues here, right? No, those are sick citizens, actually. We do have plenty of heal capacity, but we don't have any clinics over in this area. So ambulances are going to be quite a ways away. Old fashioned family Let's go ahead and put up a medical clinic right here. That'll be fine for power, right? Absolutely. L here. Okay. I have a question for you guys. Do you ever wonder how that should solve the sick problem? I don't know why I always look at this and think there's a sound problem, but I do. <laughs> I guess it's because it kind of looks like they're wearing like headphones or something. Anyway, if you're listening, mailman, this one's more fire. At Banhammer Bank, we want you to literally right next money. to the firehouse. Because okay. It's with your money that we can make you <laughs> I think money. we're gonna be fine. No, it's not funny business. It's money business. You give your money to us, and it will grow there. We go. That's the plan, at least. Fantastic. Maybe so here's our academic year for the seaside the seaside college. We are still unrecognized. The Academiopolis Institute is back up to renowned. And after digesting, it would. Uh, okay. So that's you good. Go money fishing, so you use a little money to catch a big money. You know, just come in and talk However, we still don't have enough to build our final uh, faculty here, really do with your money. which Dan is Hammer over Dan. here. Feed the money monster. School of Science. Welcome back. Can't do that quite yet. So we're just going to continue letting this do its thing. Should we zone the areas in between the dormitories residential? We have a fair amount of unused space over here. I mean, we could do this. And then all the internal areas, of course, would remain open. Kind of along the lines of that. That could work. Yeah. I don't think I hate having that filled in. That should be fine. Assuming that we actually build things there, which may or may not happen right now, but I think it's fine So we have a sick citizen over here, but yeah, they're sending out an ambulance now the ambulances will be arrived They sent two ambulances. Are they both going to the three ambulances? Okay, this one's going here This is not efficient <laughs> so much noise and trash. Thanks, Toga Party. Okay. <laughs> Good luck with that, guys. Well, we're almost to the point where we have enough money for our international airport. We need to decide what we want to do with the space over here, but I also want to see just how much space we have left over before we decide what to do with that. And then we may end up purchasing this land over here for this island and having this be a three-way intersection that then also continues over here. That may end up being a thing. Or even a four-way that then connects down over here in with, say, this one that just goes to here and stops. Be a weird turnaround over the water, though. Yeah, that'd be very weird. We're lacking water at our cargo airport hub. Interesting. Let's go ahead and run a water pipe out this way. Just in case. That's a 90 degree angle. I beg to differ. Like, okay. I guess we could just take this down to, say, here. And then run it in like that. Connect this down in a similar fashion. 
I may have miscalculated this, but I'm sure it'll be fine. There we go. Now, our pumping capacity is slightly below our water production, so we do actually need another water pumping station. Let's go ahead and put one of those down right there with the rest of our water pumping stations. And that does also mean that we need additional sewage draining capacity. So I'm just going to put down another eco water treatment plant. And we'll connect that in as well. That should solve that problem. Theoretically anyway, as soon as they kick in, this water issue should go away. Maybe. There we go. Excellent. Of course, that did once again delay our international airport terminal. So that's going to be exciting. In fact, at this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and say that... Uh, what is going on over here? Crime? Garbage. Garbage is going on over here. I mean, it is a little ways away from our garbage dealing with area, but I think ultimately it'll be okay. I just don't really want to be producing more pollution outside of this square, if I can help it. Anyway, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time when I promise we're building this international terminal. See you all then.